Hello my friends, Caddy here. Today I am sharing with you guys this layout I created. This is uh, based on the sketch um, by Ashley Horton for her and Missy Wynn's series um, Stretcher Sketch, which is super fun. Uh, I think they have now two videos up and uh, they're going to be using this sketch for, I think they're going to do four uh, videos uh, using the same sketch. So it's a lot of fun. So I uh, also cut out this cut file. This is a cut file designed by Ashley, and she is offering it. And I will link to them below so you guys can check them out. Um, it's a new series, but it's super fun and super awesome. And these are two very talented ladies, so I'm excited uh, to be following along and playing along with them. So what I did is I cut out uh, Ashley's cut file, which I did show you guys at the beginning of the video. And um, this one with the plus signs on it, I'm going to use some watercolor on it. And I just started kind of painting. I really wasn't thinking about it. Um, I just added some water to a few different colors there. And um, and I just started painting. <laughs> That's all I was doing. Um, just with different colors. Just blue, uh, yellows and greens and pinks and blues and just different colors. So just kind of, um, yeah, just kind of having fun with it. <laughs> Not really thinking about it. So um, these, I actually do this on two of these um, this circle and then one uh, which is a bit smaller and I do the exact same thing on both of them so they both turn out the same um, you know well not exactly the same obviously but um, you know what I mean same colors <laughs> same color scheme so yeah and uh, that was a lot of fun to do and basically I just added different like uh, strips of color and what I'm gonna do in the end is I'm actually gonna take some water and just spray it or mist it and um, and then just move it around so the colors kind of blend a little bit together, um, which they were already doing because when you put um, you know one next to the other they kind of tend to blend, but it just uh, the water helped them kind of blend a little bit more. So that was fun, and I love how they turned out. Turned out a lot of fun and really different. So so that was a lot of fun. So I did that. Then what I did is I did back um, all of the cut files, and there they are. I backed them all on black cardstock. Which you can see there um, that little uh, those little green strips that I'm adding to that one are the ones from that are cut out from the silhouette like the, the negative space from the silhouette so that's what they are and um, that bottom heart I'm actually going to end up cutting off one of the layers like the outer layer and making it a little bit smaller you'll see that in the still shots I don't think I do that on camera so you guys will see that in the end on this uh, in the still shots so yeah, so basically all I did was I just backed all of the squares with uh, black cardstock and the hearts which are inside of those um, circles, I actually just cut them. I made them a little bit smaller and I just did that with my scissors. I just went around them and made them just a smidge smaller um, so that they could have that black shadow behind them. And I'm using foam, um, what is it called? Foam, uh, bleh, I lost it, I'm sorry. <laughs> Fun foam. <laughs> That's what it is. I'm sorry, guys. I haven't I haven't done a video in a while. Um, <laughs> fun foam, and um, yeah. So I'm just using that to give it some dimension. So that's what I'm doing here, um, and I'm gonna pop up those hearts, and I will pop up some of the um, of those uh, circles. I end up popping up. Uh, I believe I pop up all of them except for the one that has a title on it, which is the Be Awesome. And here I'm just adhering everything down to the black uh, back backing. So that's what they all look like. I haven't adhered anything down just yet. Those are my two pictures. It's a picture of my two boys. This was taken back in 2011. And we were just out to dinner one night, uh, me and them too. And they looked really cute. And they're just making silly faces here. So I really like these pictures. And, um, and yeah, so I hadn't scrapped them and I wanted to scrap them. And I thought this was kind of a good... Um, layout for this because the sketch does call for two pictures and um, and I think these fit really nicely and just with the whole colorful theme uh, you know it can go with the picture of the two boys so um, I actually started creating this without knowing what pictures I was going to scrap so because <laughs> I just printed the cut files and I just started coloring away and then I decided to use these pictures so uh, um, here is everything I think I glued everything down at this point I took a uh, three um, three by four cards project life cards which I just have in my stash I have a ton of project life cards and I don't do project life so um, you know <laughs> I figure I need to start using them so I just layered up three of them um, and I just 
went ahead and, and added those behind my photo. I took another Project Life card, which I had already cut into. I cut off this adorable, uh, and I actually just tucked that up there. And um, so yeah, so I, I was excited to use up a few Project Life cards because I don't use them. And I'm actually thinking of putting them on my desk and maybe remembering to use them because they're great for layering. Like here, they worked out really good just to layer behind my photos. So yeah, I cut off another little strip and I added that down there. It's just a little strip with yellow stripes. Um, and then I'm going to add some stars because there are stars in the sketch. So I go back and forth with the stars. In the end, I end up using the foam yellow ones that you see there to my right. That's just from a big foam pack that I got at a Walmart a while back. Um, and those are foam. So I used two of those and I used one of the big um, wooden ones. And I used the three little wooden ones as well. So uh, you'll see that in the end as well. I'm going to move them around a whole lot and play around with them. Because I wasn't sure if I wanted to use all the foam ones or or if I wanted to use the wood ones. or I was just going back and forth with it. So <laughs> you're going to see me just kind of fuss with it. And then in the end, you're going to see what I did. So I did two foam ones and then one of the big wood ones. And then the little tiny stars, uh, I painted two of them black and one of them yellow and then the big star I painted black so again you'll see that in the still shots uh, now these hearts are wood veneer and I'm painting them black as well um, just to add them there I think the black really pops against all these colors and it's really bold and I really like the way that that looks so I really like that and I love those little open hearts um, those I got I think those are from fundamentals like a, a wood veneer pack by fundamentals is what those are from so those are just in my stash and then I took a few of these um, little circle uh, chipboard embellishments which are from Mombi so me and my big ideas um, and um, I think they're called Mombi chips or Mombi sticks something like that so um, yeah it's just little chipboard pieces and I love those little round chipboard pieces and since this is a circle uh, layout it was kind of perfect <laughs> So yeah, so the only thing I'm going to do besides um, the final, you know, the finishing touches in the end is the circle to the right with the colors, with the watercolors. I'm actually going to rotate it um, just uh, so that the, the watercolor is kind of facing the same way as the other watercolor. So it kind of looks like it's all going in the same direction. So that's the only thing I will do off camera. I did, there you go, you see at the bottom there I cut off the outside border of that um, of that heart or not the heart but of the circle so I did cut that off there so yeah so here I am painting my big star which I decided to use one of the big wood veneer stars and it's gonna go down there and then I will paint the other ones as well the little ones and then one of them I'm gonna paint in uh, yellow so yeah uh, basically this is going to be it it's very simple um, I loved, loved, loved working with the sketch. It was a lot of fun. Uh, I want to thank Missy and Ashley for uh, doing this series. It's a lot of fun to watch and um, sketches are a great way to start off a layout because it gives you an idea and uh, definitely uh, the cut file that Ashley provided is awesome. So it goes awesome with the sketch obviously. <laughs> it's, it's made for it. So uh, definitely check them out. I will have a link to them below so you guys can follow along and play along with them as well. And hopefully they keep doing this because it's a lot of fun. So, yeah, so that's basically it. I want to thank you guys again for stopping by. Uh, stay tuned. There are going to be lots more videos to come. I'm working on them right now. So uh, stay tuned. <laughs> I know my channel has been a little bit quiet lately, but um, I am working on some things. And I will have some videos coming up for you guys. So thank you so much. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. And I will see you guys very, very soon with another video. Until next time, bye!